Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at how to set up remote desktop access on Windows 10. The same applies for Windows 8.1 and also 7 and also in Windows Server. Okay, so we want basically another computer somewhere else to be able to log into our computer and then use this computer. So we need to get to the systems property screen. How do we get to that? We basically go here and type in remote and allow remote access to your computer. Whoops. Remote. And it's allow remote access to your computer. This one over there. Okay, now we need to tick this. Normally by default it'll come out by this. Don't allow remote connections to your computer. Okay, so we'll now click allow remote connections. We'll keep this as a little bit more secure. We'll click OK. Alright, now a few other things that we need to do. Sometimes we need to go to services dot dot msc and click on services okay over here we'll find two services remote desktop that we need to have active that are running so it's basically remote access connection manager and remote access auto connect manager we can also start that up okay so basically over here all the remote desktop services need to be running you can basically set them up as automatic or you can set them up as manual or disabled but for this we need them on okay another thing we need to do is in the firewall basically ensure that we allow the remote desktop service to have access. Okay, so it's over there. We've already uh, enabled it for public access. Okay, if you need to, you click on change settings and then you'd basically click change settings over there and then you turn that on. Okay, we've already done that so we don't, but you'd press OK at the end of it. Okay, so how do we connect up to this desktop? Basically, we need to find the IP, and by doing this, we just type IP config, and our IP address is over there. Okay, we now need to go into the other computer, which is over here, and then we type in that address. So it's 192.168.4.3. And instantly you'll get a prompt for the username and password. Okay. For us, it's a very simple one. Okay, as it's only a demo. And then it'll say, view certificate, do you want to accept it? You can make it always. Click on that. Okay, click yes. And then we are basically remoting in. Okay, so now exactly what we had in our Windows 10 desktop is exactly appearing on the remote computer, and you can control it, you can type in, you can do whatever you would normally do to a, a PC whilst you're sitting in front of it. However, one thing that does need to be mentioned is whoops, let's just go back to our. Uh, the desktop let's minimize that okay if we see over here our desktop has gone all black the screen's gone black over here basically it takes over the access and what you're using you cannot have access so basically two people cannot be using it at the same time otherwise you'll have kind of like fights with the mouse and fights with the keyboard etc hope you've enjoyed watching this thank you very much